Okay, let's do a little more with our subroutine. I want to show you what happens if you don't uh, type things in exactly right and uh, how we can actually shut off the keys on the keyboard. So we'll go back to our VBA sheet to do that. Uh, one way to do that is to click on the Design button. And here is our, in the property box, our key down row with the Builder button on the right edge. If we click on that again, since the subroutine's already existing, it'll just go there. Now I'm going to press the end key and then I'm going to press the backspace key. That takes out my uh, closing parentheses, which should be there. Now I'm going to press the down arrow, so I'm going to move off the line. What you'll find is Access analyzes or VBA analyzes your line when you move off the line. So I'll press the down arrow and the whole line turns red and it tells me that it's expecting a list separator or a parentheses. Okay, so that's what's called a syntax error. Things are not laid out. Syntax is like the order, proper order of things. It's not laid out correctly. So if you see that, it wants you to correct it and it'll generally put the cursor, uh, if I had an error in the middle of the line, it would put the cursor in the middle of the line. So I'm just going to put my parentheses in and then press the down arrow that's real handy because uh, you can't even leave without seeing that you've got an error right away. Now I'm on the end of the uh, line. Let me press enter to put in a new blank line. And uh, second thing I want to see is how to turn off the keys. So we'll do key code. You don't need to capitalize. It'll do the capitalization for you. Key code equals zero. And then I'm going to press a down arrow. You'll get in the habit of doing that because it checks your, your uh, code as you do that. Notice it's capitalized it to match the way that the subroutine capitalized it in the parentheses on the top line up there. So key code equals zero. Really, you're telling Access to throw away, or VBA to throw away this keystroke. Now, let's go test that. But before we, we do, let's save our changes by clicking the Save button up here. I don't like to do too much without saving. And I'm going to show you a shortcut to go back to your form. It's Alt F11. It's a keyboard shortcut. You'll find you use it all the time because your hands are on the keyboard because you're typing when you're in uh, the VBA editor. So I'm going to hold the Alt key down and press the F11 function key. And that sends me right back to my customer list. I can click on the View button. And I'm going to press a key, any key, doesn't matter. I'll press the right arrow key. It says the key is 39, but when I click OK or press Enter for OK, notice it doesn't move. If I press the down arrow, see it's throwing away these keys. If I press the letter X, OK, so that's how you turn off keys on the keyboard. It's kind of a problem here because we've turned them all off. So uh, that'll be the next lesson. We'll not turn all of them off. Uh, we'll just change the ones that we want to change. See you in the next lesson.